morning my dear children welcome to our bncbs ecs english online class okay so day before us today we have seen the book back exercises of the lesson one of our semester two right okay hope you have done your homework so children if you completed that's really amazing so uh, don't forget to send the snapshot of your completed homework to me okay so today we gonna learn the next poem what's the title of the poem i found a tiny stored fish yes what's the title of the poem i found a tiny stored fish okay all of you take page number 28 yes let me ask you are you all having your textbook with you now find the textbook and turn to page number 28 fast quickly my dear children once again, what's the title of the poem? Repeat after me. I found a tiny starfish. Yes, once again, I love you. Repeat. I found a tiny starfish. Yes, have you ever seen the tiny starfish before? Anybody? Yes, we have seen in animated movies, right children? Okay, so here, before we read the poem... Here, you are having a conversation between a small fish in the aquarium and a fish in the pond. Yes, there are two fish. They had a conversation. Yes, one in small aquarium and one in the pond. Let's see. Fish in the aquarium. Hello, you are a very lucky animal. Yes. Fish in the pond replied, Why do you say so? You are the lucky one because someone feeds you every day. You do not have to catch your own prey. Yes, children. So, the aquarium, the fish in the aquarium, it says that, yes, the fish in the pond is a very lucky animal. Yes. On the other hand, the fish in the pond, it said that, the fish in the aquarium, this one is the very lucky because somebody there to feed him every day and he no need to hurt himself to catch its own prey because somebody there to feed the fish. Okay, the aquarium fish. Okay, children. And a guy, fish in the aquarium. But you can swim so freely and dive into the deep waters. I can only swim back and forth, visiting the corners within the four walls. Oh, at times I hit the glass and my body hurts. Okay, so this fish in the aquarium, it wants to swim in the large pond. So that's why it longs to swim there. Okay, children. And fish in the pond, it replied, what about the safety you enjoy? No other bigger animal is going to eat you up. You are so well protected by your masters. Okay. Yes, right. If the fish is living here in the pond, there are some bigger animals, bigger fish. They can eat the small fish. Right. But the fish, they are uh, live in the small aquarium. No need to fear of that because there are their masters to protect them. Isn't it children? And again, fish in the aquarium. But if there is a chance, I wish to come under the bright and bright sun and enjoy the rich oxygen in the pond filled with green plants. I miss the cold waters of the night and the reflection of the moon and the stars on my skin. Okay, children. So this is a small conversation between the fish in the small aquarium and his friend in the pond. Okay, children, now are you ready to read the poem, my dear children? Once again, what's the title of the poem? I found a tiny star fish. Is it? Okay, now turn to page number 30. Yes. Have you all taken page number 30? Yeah, here, this is the boy. This is the poet. He found a tiny star fish. Okay, what's the name of the poet? I love you look here. What's the name of the poet? Dale and Dots. Yet, what's the name of the poet? Dale and Dots. Okay, children, are you ready to read the poem? That's good.
This is stanza 1. I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sand. I found a tiny starfish and I put him in my hand. So, what are the rhyming words? Sand, hand. Okay, so here this poet says that he found a tiny starfish. He is in a tide pool. What's the meaning of tide pool? Now move on to the glossary box. Read the meaning. Pool areas on rocks by the ocean that are filled with seawater. Yes, a pond nearby the ocean. Okay, children. Yes. So, this author, this poet, he found a tiny starfish from a tide pool. Yes, after he finding the starfish, he put him in, my, in his hand. Okay, now look at the picture. Yes, he said so, right? I put him in my hand. He is having the tiny starfish in his hand. Right, children? Yeah, that's good. And now, let's read the second stanza. An itty bitty starfish, no bigger than my thumb. A wet and golden starfish belonging to no one. Yes, children? Now, what's the meaning of itty bitty? Yes, see the glossary box? Tiny, very small. Yes, have you seen the starfish? Yes, it's so tiny, right children? It's so small, isn't it children? So, it is smaller than his thumb, isn't it? So, it is his thumb, right? Thumb. This starfish, it is smaller than his thumb. Okay, children? The poet says that. An itty bitty starfish. So, this tiny small fish is not bigger than my thumb. Okay, children? It is wet and it is a golden starfish. Okay? The fish is a golden starfish belonging to no one. Yes, no one in the world can say that this starfish is mine. Because it belongs to the ocean. It belongs to the tidy pool okay children yes and now i thought that i would take him from the tide pool by the sea yes tide pool is there by the sea yes this poet he had the idea of taking the starfish with him okay and bring him home to give you a loving gift from me yes he wanted to give this starfish as a loving gift to somebody. So that's why he wanted to take this starfish by the tide pool to home, his home. Okay, children. And the next stanza. Before that, we can see the rhyming words here. See, me. This is the third stanza. What is the rhyming word? See, me. Okay. And then the next stanza. But... As I held my starfish, his skin began to dry. Yes, children, if a starfish lives there in the water, yes, it can be wet always, it can live for years, right? If you take this out of water, how long it can live? Yes, children, it may die, isn't it? It may become, yes, dry, dry and die. Okay, children. So, that's why this poet now says that his skin began to dry without a special seaside home. Yes, this starfish had a special seaside home. If the starfish is not there in his seaside home, the skin began to dry. My gift for you would die. Yes, obviously, the starfish might die. Okay, children. Again, I found a tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sea. Again, the poet sang this. I hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me. Okay, so what's your opinion here, children? What do you understand? Yes, this poet, he wanted to take this starfish home, right? So whether he has taken or else he left Yes, 
read this i hope whoever finds him next will leave him there like me so the poet leaves the starfish there in the pool in the tide pool okay and he wishes that so like me if any people come here and find the starfish they should also leave the starfish there in the tide pool okay children this is the wish of the poet yes and the last stanza and the gifts i have saved for you so now what's the gift yes he wanted to give this starfish to somebody right so now which gift he gonna give that person okay the best that i can give so what's the best i found a tiny starfish even though he found a starfish as a gift and for you and for the person whom the poet loved i let him live okay children for the person he lets him live why because he leaves the fish the starfish in his special seaside home in a tide pool right so this is the best gift i can give okay children so this is the poem yes so here you are having two questions the starfish lived in dash aquarium or in a sea in a sea right and then the poet didn't care for the starfish he didn't care he cared isn't it so this is true or false false okay children so after you put a tick you just write here in a c okay and here false f a l s e okay children and here you can find a fact there are more than 2000 kinds of starfish but none can survive in fresh water so what do you find from this yes children starfish they can live only in the salt water in the sea not in the fresh water okay children okay that's fine now move to page number 31 here you are having few questions i am going to write two questions children i am going to uh, teach you two questions then the remaining questions you can write later after listening to the class once again you read the poem is very easy poem with six stanzas 1 2 3 4 5 6 and here also you can find the rhyming words dry die see me give live okay children so once again you read this and write the answers okay now let me read the first question where did the poet find this starfish where the poet found the starfish in a tide pool by the sand okay so all of you write here so it's in the first stanza yes the poet found a tiny starfish yes in a tide pool by the sand so all of you write here the poet found the tiny starfish in a tide pool by the sand yes i have you all written yes very good and the next question where did he put the starfish what's the answer he put the starfish in his hand right so let me write here he put the starfish in his hand yes have you written okay children and here are a few more questions question 3 4 5 and move to the next page yes up to 9 so this should be done by you 
read the question carefully once again you read the poem and you can write your own answers here so after completing take a snapshot and send it to me don't forget my dear children okay and this is your worksheet time so here children you are having the meaning of the poem you are having the story of your poem okay and it's in jumbles form okay children so this is the first one this is the seventh one last one so in between you are having one two three four five so you should write the order of the story of the poem okay children if you read it you know the meaning uh, already you know the meaning of the poem right you know the story of the poem right children if you read this you can give the correct order correct number okay children so this is worksheet number one and move to the next page now page number 34 so here children after you write the number according to the number you just write the story in the chronological order okay children don't forget that yes and the easy worksheet here you are having a small story an interesting story here okay so if you read the story you can write the answers for the remaining questions of worksheet number two very easy story okay children so the answers are given here inside the textbook you just read and find the answers and write okay very good and now integrated activity given in page number 37 my dear children here you should write the names of different kinds of fish that you know yes you know variety of fish right you know various fish right children you know different different names of the fish right so you just write here okay at least minimum 10 varieties okay 10 kinds of fish you should write here in page number 37 and in your fun time activity here children look for the missing words in the nursery rhymes to complete the descriptions of the characters one has been done for you as children so here there are some characters yes from your nursery rhymes for example itty bitty starfish one has been done for you this is done for you and the remaining things you should do so one i'll tell you and three to six you can find okay children so what's the second answer dash dash spider any nursery rhymes you remember yes Incy wincy spider do you remember that all of you right here in c and here when c spider incy wincy spider have you written and i'm a dash teapot dash and stout so i'm not gonna tell you the answer you just write the answers after completing all of your homework take a snapshot and send it to me okay children so today's homework you should complete from page number 31 to 37 yes page numbers 31 to 37 okay children don't forget okay this is today's homework okay children yes here we come to an end of our today's class so we meet in the next class. Bye for now. Have a good day.